Okay, as I'm pulling the taps off of this uh, outdoor coil that I tested for uh, leaks and did some repairs on leaks, uh, was one thing I wanted to show you. I'm going to be pulling this off, and it's where the cap tube normally goes into a 3/8 tube right here. Let's get a little closer there. And where that uh, Where the cap tube goes in here, they usually take the larger tube and they squish it down and then just uh, braze in the uh, capillary tube. Well, I've taken advantage of this by using just a short piece of this tubing and putting this fitting in there because it fit pretty well. Now, I'm going to be taking that off, but I'm going to take this whole thing off. And one of the things I wanted you to watch is when you're doing this, and this is an oxyacetylene rig, so it's hot, uh, do not put any heat on the cap tube. If you put heat in the cap tube, it'll just break off. See, it's the smallest piece of tubing there. It's going to get hotter faster than anything else. So I'm going to play my heat up here. And let's see if I can get this thing out. First thing I'm going to do is take this out, and then I'm going to take... Uh, this piece of tubing off there. You know, the tubing's off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the heat up here as high as I can to try to keep that cap tube from breaking off. It's not real easy to do. And most guys that are fairly new in this stuff have trouble trying to do these sort of things. you got to watch where the heat's go. There we go. I actually did it without screwing it up. Anyway, that's uh, how it's taken off, and I will be putting this all back together here pretty quick.